All right, guys, sorry for the noise. Got the parts washer still running for the day. Uh, we're working on roll pan. So I'm going to, I was talking to Neil next door about it and he come to the same conclusion I did. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up this edge on both sides and I'm gonna weld it in there solid. And then he's just gonna finish it off on the outside. Um, I would like it to not come out. So that's the easiest way to do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this all cleaned up and then we're gonna fit it and then we're gonna weld it. So um, I'm just gonna throw this in a time-lapse and uh, monkey around. Hey guys, so we're gonna strip the paint off this hood um, because there's a little bit of rust and crap on it, so I wanna get rid of that. This is the paint stripper. I've never used this brand before, but we're gonna give this brand a try. And the guys next door cleaning their steam cleaner out. So this is the brand. I just bought it off Amazon. The other stuff that I had, um, I don't didn't have any, so I just ordered this off Amazon. It came in a day. So we'll give her a whirl and see what happens. All right, guys, so I ended up having to move it down. I thought we had it in a good spot. Apparently needed to go lower. I don't know, everything's straight. It's just that it's a little on the low side, I thought, but it, it is what it is. Um, maybe that's where it needed to go. I don't know. It, it doesn't touch anything now, so I'm gonna weld it in there. Um, we're gonna shoot some primer on it, and I'm gonna weld, um, I don't know if I'm gonna weld all the way across here or not, um, but I'm gonna pull, like, I'm gonna put a bunch more holes in here um, and then I'll pull all the screws out at a certain time and we'll spot, spot weld all that up. Um, and then we'll probably seam seal it afterwards or something, but I wanna have that all welded. I don't want the screws in there. The screws would be okay, probably, uh, but I don't want it like that. So anyways, I'm gonna throw you back in a time-lapse and we're gonna get this thing welded up. Well, getting into welding all this stuff. <clears throat> <clears throat> if you guys have never welded something like this, this is to um, flanged edges, right? So it's pretty solid. You don't really have to worry about it warping too much. But basically, all I'm doing is just tacking it, get it all where I want it in there. And then in between putting, you know, half inch stitches, I just take the air blower and blow it, which probably technically takes a bunch of strength out of it as far as that goes, like strength out of the weld. But it doesn't really need, the weld doesn't need to be that strong for something like this. So not really too much to worry about as far as that goes. Um, there's lots of weld in there. So, and on the spot welds, you just, you know, get in there, spot weld it. And it's not that easy to get in. I should have done this without the cart in there, but um, it wasn't too easy for me to get in there. But, and then just grinding it off, there was a little bit of lip or uh, a little bit lower on the one side, but not a big deal. It turned out pretty good. So... <laughs> I'm happy with that. All right, guys. So I got this thing all welded in there. It's not just perfect, but it's perfect enough. So I got it spot welded across the top, and then we welded it all the way around the bottom. And then I went in underneath and spot welded um, the spot welds on the back side, like because I drilled the hole through some of them, um, just to fill those holes up, just so there isn't any. You don't have to worry about anything going in. And then I am going to paint the bottom of the box. Um, I don't know, I was hoping to get it painted before I had the truck painted, but I don't know, the paint's not coming, Neil wants to start working on it, so blah, blah, blah. Um, so what I might end up having to do is tape the box off and then spray painting the underneath of the truck after, which is fine. If that's what I have to do, that's what I have to do. 
So is what it is. So um, we are going to, this is going to be going over to Neil probably next week, early next week, hopefully. Um, I don't think I have anything else. I got to clean everything out and I want to power wash underneath. I'm actually going to power wash the whole thing. Um, but I want to, uh, <clears throat> I want to do just kind of a once over on it and make sure that I didn't miss anything or if there's a crack in the body somewhere or something that I need to weld up before they get it. See a little bit of metal showing right there. Make sure we don't want it. I don't want it to rust while I am washing. So anyways, um, let's take a look at what the hood did. I am going to say that this, this stuff is not near as good as the old product that I used to use. It took one layer off and I scuffed it up with the grinder prior. Um, it's definitely not near as, this stuff's definitely not near as good as the stuff that I used to use. Because the stuff that I used to use, man, you put it on there. Well, I actually did the fenders on that the last time I painted it. Um, I put it on there 15 minutes later and it looked like that after you pushed it off. So obviously this product, which that other stuff that I had was probably 10 years old. You know, back when we used to be able to get product that was, that would work. <laughs> So anyways, this stuff's not quite as good as I was hoping it was going to be. I am going to rate this stuff 3 out of 10 because I'm going to have to do it at least a couple more times. I have it, so I might as well use it. Um, I might see, worst case scenario, I will. I guess I'll have to scrape this all off and I'm going to put another layer on there. Because it is. it did take some off, but it didn't even touch the stuff below it. Like even on the edge, like even the edge of that paint right there. Like, there's nothing that's stopping it from touching that paint, and it didn't even bubble it up. So I don't know what the deal is. It's like it's not reacting with it or something. Just sad, because the sun takes the paint off, but the chemical stripper's not. So, anyways, guess you can't win them all. So what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to give this thing a scrape. Um, and... I'll probably give it a scrape and we will put another layer of that stuff on and uh, see what we got. So anyways, I'm going to call it good for this video because I don't want the videos to get too long. Uh, like, subscribe, hit me down in the comments and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. And remember, it's not rocket science.